For all you guys that's got a water source at your ranch or farm, uh, like we have here, of course we got an old casing with a well down in it, but we need a power source, have we got it today. Robison Solar Energy Systems. Hey, look here. We're gonna put up a panel today. This happens to be the two panel well pump system. It comes complete. Here's your solar. Robison sends this to you. It's, the wires are already connected uh, to the end of the pump. You put the pump down in the well. After we put the pipe on it, we're fixing to show you how to put together a simple solar system water pump at your ranch. If we've already put it together, you put all the, it's, a, it's got four brackets. You put a pipe collar fitting there. This comes pre-wired with all your stuff on the panels, ready to go. All you gotta do is plug it in and you're ready to have water. We've already installed a two and a half inch pipe in the ground over here close to the water source. Of course, it doesn't have to be close to the water source. You can run, hey, three, four, five hundred feet away. And we're actually going to just set this thing right on top with a sleeve. It sits down there. Now, when we get ready, we're going to actually going to adjust this to wherever we want it to, where the sun goes, hook it up. But first, we're going to show you how to hook up that pump. All right, now what we're going to do, Dad has got a weight fixed up on a string, and we're going to let it down in the well. All right, go ahead and let it all the way down. And you keep watching the bottom with a light or here in the daylight, we can see this going down and it's actually touching the top of the water right now. All right, now then what we'll do is tie a knot right here and that tells me just about where the water line is. Now then, what we do now is go on down with the, with the string until it bottoms out and there's slack in the line and hopefully you'll have 25, 20, 25 foot of water. Okay, all right, it's bottomed out right there. So I'll bring it right off there. Now then, we'll know exactly how long, how deep it is to the water and how deep the water is, well, how deep the water is. <laughs> all right, now then, according to my knot right here and how long it is, it's 52 feet to where I first touched the water. And now then we're gonna go on down to where I tied the knot and see how deep the water is in the well. And I don't have as much water as I thought I was gonna have. I've got 18 feet of water. You know, one thing I like about the Robinson Solar System, everything's complete and it's already done except for your pipe and fittings that, because you don't know how far each well is going to be and how far the power source is going to be to your power source. But first thing I do, I, I'm using the, uh, the PVC white pipe, put a little fitting on it here. I go ahead and put a little Teflon on it just to make my connections a little, a little better here. Screw it right into the top of the submersible pump. Put a zip tie about every three or four feet. Okay, now we got the, uh, the pump put on the PVC pipe, the wire let up, and we got it zip tied all the way off. Now then we're gonna insert it into our casing and you just put it all the way down to your mark. Okay, the, the Robinson solar pump also comes with a, a hookup device that uh, automatically shuts your water on or off inside the tank when you get it ready and that's what we just put on right here. You get the wire coming out of the well, hold it in your hand, take and put this one here, you connect it, it only goes on one way, connect that, then the well goes right here. Now then the pump, the water is running. Now what's so neat about this automatic leveler Got a little wire here you can run over to you. If you need more distance, you can add on to it. If you take these two wires and run them down in your tank, when that water level drops and gets out of the water, it comes on. When it fills up and touches these uh, sensors, the water shuts off. Automatic leveler.